Hello everyone and welcome to the last lecture of Getting Inspired. I'm Mohamed Asoud, an author of two series called Getting Inspired and Expand Your Vocabulary Bank. Well, I've been working as an English instructor for the last 12 years and as a freelance translator for the last 10 years. Now why get inspired? Lots of students and friends asked me about this idea. Four years ago, I was in Germany and one of the managers asked me this question, who inspired you to become an English teacher? Honestly speaking, I couldn't reply to his question. However, many pictures for well-known figures around the world were inside my head. And some of them were for people who are on their way to become famous. So I went back to my room in Berlin and I wrote those names on a piece of paper. And then I asked myself a question. Why not to teach English and at the same time let students get inspired by such wonderful figures around the world? So what is Get Inspired? Get Inspired is a set of programs aimed at enhancing students' skills in English. In 2016, I came back to Syria and started with Get Inspired famous figures around the world in many organizations as a few workshops. Then in 2017, I started with Get Inspired Brother of the Day, an American slang series. In 2018, I started with three other programs of Get Inspired. Get Inspired, Confusing English Words, Let's Read a Little, and the last one was Figure Out the Idioms. Now, in 2019, we'll be working on Get Inspired in a Nutshell. So, let's get started. In this video, I would like to talk about a professor who inspired many teachers and students around the world. His name is Dr. Randall Frederick Pouch. His nickname is Randy. He was a professor of computer science at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer and eventually died of related complication in 2008. So, what's the story of the last lecture? The last lecture is a book done by Dr. Pouch. Dr. Pouch considered the last lecture a chance to teach his children and family about the importance of love, courage, and saying goodbye. The last lecture was delivered to hundreds of people around the world and also recorded. In his book, he introduces his three children, the oldest who is about five years old. He introduces his wife. He tells us about all that he has got to look for and about his limited time. He also talks about how he and his wife do not shy away from their difficult times and be able to reminisce their positive shared history and focus on the powerful connection that they have to build. Dr. Pausch explains his reasons for being drawn to this idea of the last lecture to his wife by telling her that his children are too young and might never get to know him. So what are the lessons that you can learn from this book? Well, the first one is to chase your childhood dreams relentlessly. Pausch thinks about what makes him unique. He explains that it isn't his fight with cancer, as thousands of people are diagnosed each year. And it definitely isn't about being a computer scientist and a professor. Mm -hmm. Though they are significant, they don't make him unique. Instead, he realizes that his individuality lies in the fact that much of what he had achieved had been inspired by his childhood dreams. Back in his parents' home, there was an elevator that he had painted on his room's walls as a kid. The elevator, among other things, would remind him of his dreams. He wonders that this might be the driving force that pushed him to go after his dreams. As a kid, Dr. Pouch dreamed of floating in zero gravity at NASA and to become a Disney Imagineer. While it may not be possible to fulfill all your dreams, chasing a dream and failing also serves an important purpose. Therefore, urge yourself to chase your dreams, build new ones, and help others in materializing theirs. The second lesson that you can learn from this book is to earn your own success. No one is going to hand it down to you. Through the recollection of his football coach, Coach Graham, Dr. Pouch personifies the idea of sticking to the basics. Through his rigorous practice sessions and quite orthodox rules, Coach Graham tries to impart in his students the drive to relish the hard work that goes into achieving any particular thing instead of just valuing the end result. The lessons that we obtain from Coach Graham are universal, and to this day, we can apply them in our own lives and also pass them on to the newer generations. The same principle was followed by Dr. Pouch. He pushed his students to work harder and harder. Even when some groups of his students performed phenomenally, it wasn't enough for Dr. Pouch. Instead of showing such groups with endless praise, he showed them that they were capable of achieving much greater things. In all of his classes, Dr. Pouch focused on the right attitude and positive behavior. He urged his students to concentrate on the group dynamics and make everyone around them comfortable enough to share their thoughts and ideas. Obstacles will always be there, but we should never give up. Difficulties are not there to stop you, 
but to make you realize how badly you want something. Surely there will be walls, but it's crucial that you focus on what lies on the other side of those walls. Even when Dr. Pouch was diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer, he did not let go of his positive attitude. He chose to live fully in the moment instead of shutting down and waiting for everything to end. Well, this brings me to the end of the first part of the last lecture. In the end, I just would like to say Happy New Year and welcome to my new program, which is called Getting Inspired in a Nutshell. So in 2019, we'll be learning English together and getting inspired by famous books around the world. Thank you so much for listening and all the very best. I'll see you soon.